Because we're going to do them, nice. And then, flash! The end of dimensions. Look at that, it's the big rift in space. Remember when we were last here? That sucks. And now Cohen's like, yes, it's over, humanity, you're done. And they're super impressed with their stupid big gaping maw thing that's about to convert this whole dimension into oblivion. And uh, Crow says these guys are... Um, yeah, he says uh, these guys aren't like Shiku. Uh, like Shiku is nihilistic, these guys aren't like that, it's this whole uh, dimension. And Crow says the nihilism within Shiku is something that would never really manifest externally in a human. But Shiku and his people have a special relationship with death due to their ability to guide souls to the afterlife. And thus his uh, unusual ability to achieve the requisite nihilism to activate his sphere. And then uh, these dudes here say uh, that nihilism, oblivion, it's the primordial state of the world prior to the universe's beginning, and it's uh, the basis of their own being. And it's like, wait, what the heck? And it's basically the complete opposite of where humans start from, and that explains why Geta Rays, which cause evolution and advancement in life in random dimensions, made them evolve rapidly differently to mankind. And that's why Tempty shows up and goes, yep, you got it! And uh, she says, uh, and that's why the invaders will never evolve beyond their ravenous destruction. Tempty, it's you, and it's like, and then Stinger's like, "Yep, yeah, it's the one that named us Barls." Really, is that true? It's like, yeah, it was me. I did it. And it's, it's their own fault for only evolving aggression in response to all those delicious ghetto rays. Hmm. And she says that uh, there is no perfection in their future, no godhood. Perfection, apotheosis. She said, and if they can't be gods, then why not be demons instead? And thus, Baal. And she says, if you stop to think about it, is the, pi pi the power of Oblivion and nothing this really differ from the space monster's power to destroy? And she's like, what, this, uh, 12,000 years of space bullshit? And then, goes like, shut up, shut up! So these guys are mad as hell. And they say that um, she can't get away with this in uh, their Oblivion space. And she's like, alright, fine. I'll help you try and take down the humans then. So she summons the space monsters. Dang it, space monsters! She's like, yeah, I can do whatever I like. I'm tempted. I just brought them because I thought it'd be a good joke. It's like, dang it, lady. She's like, bye bye, Earthlings. Maybe you can make it uh, be top dog on this one. See what you can do. And then this is, but Cohen and Stinger, though they hate to admit it, her summoning all these things does give them a good chance to pile on and beat us up with their own fellas. So they summon a bunch of invaders, obviously. Like, dang it! If these guys hate being called Balls, they sure don't show it. And he's like, shut up! We're not Balls! It's like, dang it, we'll stop acting like them. Like, no! But here they are, hiding behind their troops. And they're gonna try and raise their stupid nihilism and oblivion. And stage a super dead. Like, yeah, we're gonna get ready, then we're gonna blow you away with our big bullshit. So they just disappear. Like, dang it, these jokers. Take them all down, then. Take them all down. And the SR point is, within three turns, take down 50 dudes. Which is 25 teams. Yeah, so when are people going to be around tomorrow? The classic, same time as last time? Bang, bang. Like the like the five six p.m. my time, which was four hours ago. 
Yeah, it was the same time as always! He's under my clock, that's extremely flexible. But yeah, Keiko never has enough energy to do, like, enough SP to ever do a refill, pretty much. That's 6 p.m. my time. Sounds like that's gonna be the time. When we'll get get our bullshit on, we'll see what um got what time then you done for a couple days. Perfect, that sounds perfect. So about six PM my time, which was three hours ago. So in the old twenty one hours time, we'll get together, we'll do our Clash of the Galaxy. The good shit tomorrow is uh, we're gonna find out what Lauk's been up to. Nono gets her upgrade. We get an extremely rowdy boy uh, join us, um, and the stage after that is like the oh okay shit's getting real stage. So as good as hey. To her, you'll be home. Perfect. Beautiful. We got him. That means you'll just you'll just miss the start of the stupid shit, which is fine because it's, it's probably going to be a long one because it's the, the uh, die buster finale. So I imagine it's going to be longer than friggin' an hour anyway. Oh look, he's Pringling. Yeah, and she's Pringling. And he's Pringling. And he's Pringling. Spiral's Pringling. Perfect. Pringling. Freaking. Yeah, so you know how it ends. But you don't know how it's adapted. That's good. That means you'll be here just in time for the right time. And then I'll be doing Friday as well because Kunal's away, so the cats will play. Fill me up. Level cup. Thanks, Mum. And he's defeated. 28, alright. I must do some good shit. Can't wait for everybody to see it. I mean, go, oh shit! Oh shit! That's that really dumb bit! But then there's all the good bits too!
Okay, so I need to go up two more nerds. So that's all the little nerds and then two big nerds and then you get the SR point. Cool. Block this sucker. Block this sucker. Yes, I went got. There, we did it. We blocked loads of jerks. Uh oh. Cohen and Stinger, right on time. Bring out the big boy. And there, look at that, he's the big weird combined fella again. He's like, yeah, we did it, this is our strength, Earthlings. Peep this shit, here in this oblivion space. We can copy ourselves too. Ha 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 ha. What the heck, no, there's four of them. <laughs> Double image, Bunshin. They're like, no, Earthlings, in this dimension, we can use dimensional energy, which you can't, because you're garbage. And uh, yeah, they basically just go, the proof that, like, that you can't use dimensional energy here in this space is proof that you are not chosen by the uh, Getter Rays and they have chosen us, the invaders. And we're like, wow, you guys are garbage. Like, But don't worry, you guys will obtain uh, Eternity 2 once we assimilate you. And we're like, what the heck? It's like, yeah, once you get absorbed by us, then you can control the origin law like us. It'll be brilliant. And Ryoma's like, nah. And Ryoma goes, hey, whether you guys went bad as a self-fulfilling prophecy of the name Baal, or it was given in Erdis, we're not Baals. And then Busty, and then Nono's like, well, I mean, you're acting like one anyway. But we won't allow anyone to live who insists on stealing the lives of others. So let's beat them all up. This power, the power in, of this space, we can beat the Baals. The Earthlings will show you. It's like, no, you're not, no. Let's go, invaders. <laughs> and then here's these guys who are just a bunch of big invincible boss clones. And they're awful. Basara, a ball? Tune in after the break. And because he automatically teleports to wherever the boat is, there's no point in doing any weird shenanigans with him. To get in places real quick. Kay's gonna blow him up because Kay's good and I wish that I did the thing, but it's fine. Why is Kay so good? It's almost as if he's the best character in Z1. Like, just in terms of being grossly overpowered. Culture is like, this is Team D, but you want them to acknowledge that it's a thing. It's a level of respect above Kore, like you wouldn't say Kore to somebody, like you would use that to refer to somebody in their pet. You use Kuchira. Soldier,
Oh yeah, okay, let's do it. Let's start shit with K. Okay. Oh, yeah, dude. Okay, so he's gonna bust through Noriko's flash, and now they gotta bust through Noriko's 400 evasion. Actually, it's more than that, right? Because of the the crow man. Basta home run. Look, I'm sure there'll be an enemy who'll be able to hit her again one day. One day. Moving over to try and own, but they're trash, so they can't do it. Mm. 
So, Noriko versus these jokers. Gets us. Baal, mankind's natural enemy. You actually think you can win? You possess power far beyond the endless incarnation of destruction that you faced. And Stinger, we are agents of the void, the vo force that brings all to nothingness. We rebuilt this universe. And then Kazumi, they proclaim themselves to be acting like Baal. Then there's no need for mercy, Noriko. Right, Onesama, our gunbuster is the defender of mankind. We'll take all of you on. If we're past level 99, all the way. All of the way. Master Home Haran. ノリコ、成長した姿を今こそ。はい。見ていてください。ピピピピピ。飛ばしなさい。銀河の果てまで。パスター。ハリスタンカンゲーズレディ。I and they were assimilated into invaders and they know how to recreate their genetic code, then why wouldn't they be able to just resurrect those jokers? He's not gonna die. <laughs> He's got all the prevail and he takes less damage on the enemy turn. I think. That might have just been his thing in B, but I'm pretty sure it's his thing in this too. And he has Super Guts as a spell, so as long as he doesn't die on his turn, he can fully heal, so... See? He's taken like 200 damage.
ずいぶんと乱暴なことをするじゃないか Yeah, like, it's. Yeah, see, Fortnite is fine. Uh, yeah, look, he's fine. Cafe is fine. Look. <laughs> This is if nothing has happened. As long as he has 25 and he regenerates,、um, like, 5 every turn, right? We don't care. He's good. No, they just copy themselves. They just regrew themselves because in this space they are kings. こちらが先行する今の私は火消しの風ウィンドだ
余計な手間を取らせてくれる<笑>ここまでだなぞくぶちおざかしい Juan doesn't have shit to say to these jokers, they're just trash and she hates them, so. Makes sense. Is uh, no, that's the wrong K. I need this one. I may not know anything about the void or ascension, but it seems to me you don't know one of say, society's basic rules. Let people live their lives in peace. Original singularity, you who broke the greatest of taboos have no right to say anything. Still, we thank you. It's thanks to your destruction of the dimensional walls that we can now lay claim to it all. So, this is all my fault, huh? Master K. Relax, Mom. I'm already used to being responsible for stuff like this. I'm gonna tie it all up. I'm hitting these guys with every single shot I have. You talent, Kay. He's a good boy. からずくてどうにかしようってやつには効果だ。気を抜くなよ。これ立てごわい。お前こそ真面目にな。そのつもりだけど。頼む、ボルソン。おう、任せろ。ほら、ほら。敵はこっちだぜ。Why are you doing this to us? It's because you're trash. Do these guys even have. Okay, no, they don't. Good. They do have a map attack which will fuck me up, but I don't mind that so much. Yeah, then he's gonna get rowdy, sure. Akagi. So he's going, ignorant salary man. Your fate was sealed the moment you dared set foot onto the galactic stage. However, there is strength in your recklessness. You'll become part of us. I'm going to pass on your hostile takeover. We're all humans who laugh, cry, and try our best to live life to the fullest. I won't put up with folks who take that away over some crazy logic. And the new is our mission. The mission of all humans. Get M and A. Acquisitions. Fucking classic salary man bullshit. Fucking her Vicky's doing 10k damage in the back to these jokers. Impossible! Idiots! Friggin' idiots! Don't know what you're doing! Eat this! Fuck. Yeah, you get him. Get one of his, like, eight nipples. Just straight up. Great to not the punisher! Friggin' idiots! You know what you're doing? Yeah, beating you up.
shot and I want to get shot so my prevail activates so then Akaki does more damage than ever before and it's also faster oh no they got us alright they got us with those weird starfish that was in the evolution cartoon Bam 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 bam. See these guys have stupid bullshit. Yeah, they do, but it's fine. Are you kidding me? With this shit? Thanks, AG, I guess. It's apparently Setsuka Kart, which I still do not get fucking murdered. Shinji! <laughs> We're alive! Everyone wants to live! If you try and take that away, then I'll fight to defend them too! It's pointless, boy! What could a single person do? However, the artificial human you're piling is fascinating. We lay claim to its power. I will let you have the Ava. It's all I have left. Yeah, it's set to go just getting fucking ultra murdered. She does have prevail though, so she should be okay. In theory. He's <laughs> right there waiting to stop and it feels like, listen. He's talking about things he owns. He doesn't own Kaoru. Their relationship goes beyond possession of each other. They're regular people. Camille! Taking lives just to satisfy your greed. There's no place for your kind in this universe. Fucking Camille, like, in the last six stages, has gone from we gotta stop the bad dudes to these guys are gonna fucking die. It's straight up just like, you don't deserve to live, but yeah, no place for your kind in this universe. We do not want nor require your permission. We are the Void's emissaries, the one who will eventually decide the fate of all that is. A swollen ego will be the death of the whole universe. So I'm stopping it now. For all the lives that permeate peace. No, space, rather. And then he crashes a fucking plane into it. Yeah, who was done with this? Yeah, there's fucking 25 days till the earth's done, so he's that old on edge. Shimon. Here we finally are, invaders. We'll set a medals uh, with you once and for all today. Man of the spiral, if you wish to challenge the envoys, then you must offer your strength to us. If you do, then we'll have a chance of prevailing against them. That is the hope we offer. Hell no! My friends and I will deal with those guys without using crap like your power. Let's go. My drill is about to blow a hole through your ambitions and your insane ideas. No, like, like, Camille, like, had a moment where, um, like, I think it's when Jared kills four that, like, he's super mad, and then he just goes, it's okay, I get it, Jared, you're pathetic, and 
You just shit it, don't worry about it. And he has a connection with Haman, and he's like, whoa, this is weird. We can understand each other, and she's like, fuck off. And then Sirocco does his thing, and he's like, damn dude, I understand everything, I understand you, and I understand that you're shit, and don't deserve uh, the air you breathe. And then he murders that guy. He's the ultimate new type. He's such a good dude. He can understand everything and then disagree with them violently. Boss. <laughs> Soroko was a pretty even like Soroko is actually a fucking lunatic. Like I'm just an absolutely terrible dude. Straight up just the worst. Faking new type connections with people. To uh, manipulate Hamuro Ray, you are safe yourself, Hamuro. I feel it. This man is a trailblazer for mankind's evolution. By consuming him, we'll finally grasp the truth, and the way to ascension will be clear. And then Hamuro. Ascension via evolution. Understand what that means now that I look at them. All the more reason why we cannot allow these egocentric creatures to eradicate humanity. They must be stopped right now. Yeah, like Gundam's normally shades are grey, but to be fair, it's not like the bad the bad guys are fucking awful shitheads. And then it's the good guys who are on a scale. Like oh, this is oh shit, we're dead. It's not a problem, they're fine, they got loads of guys. One down! Yeah, like, like Xeon, like, the early Gundam generally has an unambiguously evil side that will have a few good guys on it, because it's the Imperial Japan, Nazi Germany analog. Say, Ryama, Come, warriors of the Geta Rays! We'll decide once and for all who truly are the Chosen Ones! Works for me, invaders! And then Haito. Now that I think about it, these two have been a problem for quite a long time. Could say the same for you two! Well, my apologies, but I don't believe destroying these worms will mean the Geta team can go their separate ways. Yeah, we still have other battles waiting ahead. We can't waste any more time with these freaks. Here goes, Geta. We're tearing their void a new one. Yeah, like Patrick never says, uh, yeah, yeah, like he never goes, yeah, Hitler was a good, Hitler sounded like he had the right idea, thanks for comparing me to him. Like, he's just a crazy dude. Like, the Titans are unambiguously evil, but, like, um, Moar, Pharaoh, uh, Sarah, like, even Jerry isn't, like, super evil. And also everything the Titans do that makes them unambiguously evil, Zeon did ten times worse, and like all they're doing is copying from Zeon's playbook. Like Zeon are absolutely unambiguously evil, they've just got some good people on them. Is the idea. Whereas the Federation is eh, hey, it's corrupt and it don't work so good, but it's better than, you know, the alternative. It's got a few bad egg.
There, here's Kiriko. There you are, abnormal survivor! You, he who transcends causality, will add to our power! And then Kiriko internally. You are both sad creatures, obsessed with war. Still, I'll not surrender my life to anyone. Like, you can correlate pretty much a qu the quality of a Gundam side story based on how much it goes Zeon were good, actually. Yeah, like, for us, but like, Seeds Earth, like, Seeds Run from the Shadows, like, basically, like, like, exactly. It's like, it glue fucking garbage, because it's go, it's like, actually, the Nazis, like, a lot of them were good. It was only a few bad eggs that spoiled the bunch. It's like, I don't know about that. And like, and the, and the Federation are absolutely terrible. Shooting down, um, people in escape pods, absolutely terrible. It's like, yeah, but last scene just had a lady go, Fucking good, I'm glad they're dropping comments on people. So... Absolutely. And then, um, and then you've got War in the Pocket, which is like Zeon absolutely unambigu un unambiguously evil. There's like the big Zeon man who's involved is called Colonel Killing, for example. And it's like there's just a little bit like there's four good, four good ones, and only one of them is good. Like the others are just trying their best in this fucked up situation. But it also shows how dangerous it is to think that Zeon are good and cool, because that's the entire arc of Alf, is that he thinks Zeon are cool and good and the Federation sucks, and then you see what that fucking gets him. Yeah, look at these dudes. Look at these other dudes doing unjust war crimes. Disgusting. Look like our righteous crimes. Well, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So here's Shah. Baal. Those who seek to obstruct mankind. Rather, all lives walk towards the future. Wrong. We'll be giving you a future. You just need to become part of us. Nothing to fear. All that you're doing is blotting out our future with your self centered rhetoric. I can't allow you to linger in this universe. My mission is to bring an end to you. Is there any Gundam series where they don't have an evil bastard? Uh, no, but it depends on, like, which side they're on. Like, Unicorn has the most evil bastard of all time being the Federation guy. Like, the, like, the two sides of good Gundam is one side are just the fucking worst. 